Hey, what's up guys? Josh here and uh, welcome to Quick Tip of the Week. Okay, so today we're going to get straight to the point. Uh, we are going to be learning how to use the clone stamp tool, which is this right here, clone stamp tool. All right, so this tool is very handy. Um, it's very useful. So pretty much what it does is um, say there's this object, this black object right here. Uh, I'll just outline that. So there's a black object right here. And this isn't, I would, you know, you would never use it for in this instance, but uh, there's a lot of different uh, scenarios where you have to use the clone, uh, the stamp tool, which will come uh, in very handy. Uh, so pretty much you, you want to get rid of some of the black and make sure that it's the, uh, it blends in with the background. So we're going to be turning it white pretty much. So uh, what we're going to do, I'll just show you real quick how to do this. So what you're going to do is you're going to select the background, which is white, and then you're going to go and select the, um, the tool. And then you're going to make sure that the hardness is at 100% and the size depends on how big the, the, um, the area that you're trying to clone or sorry, trying to fade in or how you would ever say it, um, is so like you want to about the same size, maybe a little bit bigger. Actually, I'm sorry, maybe a little bit smaller. So I'm going to do around 110. So as you can see, it just fits in. So then you're going to, what you have to do, how to use this is you're going to hold alt. Uh, you're going to click on the background, making sure that you have this, the background selected and then you're going to click on the shape. Okay, so now as you can see, there's this white little circle that just follows around. Uh, it doesn't do anything until you uh, left click. So we are going to left click right now. And as you can see, it already uh, takes away that black area. Now you have to be very careful here because when you hold alt, make sure that it's a little bit farther away from the area because you have it really close. You will do something like this where you will drag it, but then it will just go black because you can see that cross arrow right there. Uh, is over the black area, so it clones what it clones a color that is over. So right now, since it's over the black area, it's going to be cloning black. So now, since it's over white area, it's going to be cloning the uh, white. So it's a pretty straightforward tool, and it's pretty easy, and it comes in handy a lot. So I would very uh, much recommend using this tool. Um, so guys, if you did enjoy this, if this did help, please do uh, leave a like, please, uh, and please do leave a comment. And guys, if you want to learn more about Photoshop, Cinema 4D, or even After Effects, please do subscribe.